Before now, if you want to create a new Facebook pixel to track events on your website, you will come over to data sources. So this is data sources. All I need to do is to click on the drop down. And when I click on the drop down, I can now go over to pixel to click on pixel. And once I click on pixel, then I can now go ahead to set up new pixel from this section. So what is pixel? Basically a pixel is a doorway that allows Facebook to open and enter into your website or landing page. So it tells Facebook what to do and how to analyze the data they receive. And this is the method we have been using for years. But in 2023, Facebook made some changes to the way you manage events in your ad manager. So right now, you no longer need to create a Facebook pixel. What you need is a data set. Basically, what Facebook did was to move all the assets under the pixel section to a new section that we call data set. Let me show you what I am talking about. If you go over to pixel and you create a pixel, you will be able to see all the pixels you have created right in this place. But right now, for you to see all your pixel, you will need to come over to data set. And data set is the new section that we have under our data sources. So if I should click on data set, then we will be able to see all the pixels that I have created on this particular section. I actually created this pixel before, but I don't really need them again. And I have deleted them from this particular section. So if you want to create a new pixel, all you need to do is to come over to data set. So I'll go over and locate data set right from this place. I'll click on data set then you can go ahead and click on add and then you can go ahead to create data set so you can see a pop-up window that just came up it says create new data set so it is no longer create new pixel it is saying create new data set so all you need to do you can go ahead and give your pixel a name so i'll come over here and type web pixel i can just give that name and when i am done typing that i can now go ahead and click on create now this is the new data set we just created and our data set has a unique id it has a unique id just like your pixel id so instead of having a pixel id now we have a data set id so this data set id will work anywhere your pixel id would work in the past let's say you need to install it on your landing page you can just click on it to copy it and then paste it wherever you want to paste it and everything will work the way it used to so it's not as if everything was changed completely as a matter of fact all the facebook pixels you have from the past will still work normally the major difference between the way facebook pixel worked in the past and how the data set work now is that instead of the old way of having separate assets for website events app event messaging events and offline events the new data set you create will basically manage all these events under one asset so that is just the major difference so right now let's go ahead and install the new data set we just created on a website first of all i will come over to connected assets and i will click on connected asset then i will go over to assign asset and i'll click on assign asset then i will just click on select all to add the pixel to my ad account and i will now come over here and click on add then i will now click on done now to install this on our website i will just click on open in Bent manager and usually the process of setting up a Facebook pixel will slightly vary depending on the platform you are using. But right now I am going to be using WordPress. So let's go back to event manager and once you are here what you should do is to scroll down and come over to where you have gather website events for browser activity. So you can set up MetaPixel and you can also set up conversion API. But right now
now we are going to click on set up meta pixel because that is the one we want to use right now so i'll go ahead and click on set up meta pixel and we can either install code manually and we can also check for partner but we are going to install code manually so i'll go over here and click on install code manually basically what you need to do here is to go ahead and copy the base code by just clicking on copy code here and from there you can now go over to your wordpress dashboard and what you need to do right now is to install a plugin and we are going to go over to plugin section and once we are here we can go over to click on add new plugin then we go over to the search bar and we can now type insert header and footer and from the suggested ones we have here you are going to install the one that is from wp code that has over 2 million users as at the time i am recording this video so you go over to install and once you are done installing here you can now go over to click on activate but right now i don't need to do that process again because i have already installed this plugin and i have already activated this plugin on my website so all i need to do is to come over to the dashboard section and i will scroll down i will go over to code snippet and i will go over to header and footer and click on header and footer so right now for you if you are starting up newly you may not have anything on your header section but if you should have something on your header section already all you need to do is to come over to this header section here you can click on this place and click on enter on your keyboard then you can now paste code there and then click on save changes so once that is done we can now go over to our event manager again so once you are here on your event manager what you need to do basically is to come over here and click on continue and once you click on continue you come over to this place and turn on automatic advanced machine then you click on continue you can come over to this place to click on open event setup tool but i'm not going to do any event setup tool right now i will go over to this place and click on go to pixel overview so right now on my pixel overview what i need to do basically is to come over to test event i'll click on test event then i'll scroll down and click on the drop down button here then i'll scroll down again and come over to this section that says enter website url so i'll go over to my website i'll just copy my website url and go back to my event manager then i can now paste it here and once i am done pasting it i'll now go ahead and click on open website so right now let's go back to event manager and as you can see facebook is going to record it as page view so that is what we have just done so right now let's go ahead and open event setup tool so that we can now track our button so that anybody that clicks on our button on our website on our landing page we are going to track them and we can now use them and retarget them so what we need to do is to go to setting you keep on scrolling down until you come over to where it says open event setup tool so you are going to go ahead to open the event setup tool and you will put your website url over here then you can now click on open website and once that is done your website will load up and the meta event setup tool will also load up on top of it what you can do right here is that you can track a new button and you can also track a url so once you track a new button you can track everybody that click on that button and you can now retarget them anyone that comes to your website you can also track them by tracking a url this particular one here but right now what we are going to do is that we are not going to track a url but we are going to track a new button so i'll come over to track new button i'll click on it then i'll scroll down to where i have my button then i'll now click on my button then i'll now select an event for it come to this place and click on lead then i can now say don't include value because i'm not selling any particular product and there is no any amount or any figure that is attached to this particular button so i'll come over here and click on confirm click on finish setup then i can come here and click on finish
finish then i can now say yes then i can now come over here and click on submit then i can now say done so right now let me show you what we have just done so if we should go over to the history section here we have some history here and the first one we did was that we set up a pixel and we assigned that particular pixel to our ad account and the next thing we did was that we now set up advanced machine and then after that we now track our button and the event that we selected was lead and that is why it has recorded the event for us as lead so this is how you can set up and install your pixel so in this video you have seen the new way to create a new facebook pixel and i have also shown you how to install this pixel on your website if you have any question let me know in the comment section if there is any specific topic you want me to cover in my subsequent video let me know in the comment section as well if you got value from this video please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this in the future and that will be all for now guys everything i have just taught you is not going to make any difference if you don't know where to get started from when it comes to facebook ads i have a full tutorial on that click on the video playlist showing on your screen right now so that you can learn from scratch until i see you in my next video play b keep winning and don't forget that your philos does loves you guys bye from here guys